Michael Cusack is an incredible creator of surreal madness, and while only a handful of animators take the potential of their craft to the absolute limits, you can clearly tell that Cusack's work is one of them. Nothing we can do. No! His work is so bizarre and surreal that you'd easily be forgiven for thinking it's come from an absolute insane madman, because I mean, who else would be willing to make this crazy shit? Hey, which one of you lady is gonna get fucked? Yeah, I'll back you, yeah. come on, back me! Oh yeah, back me. boy, back me. Oh yeah, I'm gonna fuck you! I'm gonna get you, your asshole! Yeah, 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 I'm gonna fuck you! Oh yeah, come back here! I'm gonna fuck your shit! I'm gonna fuck your shit again! Yeah! Uh, uh, yeah! Oh yeah, y'all are! But even if it's not your kind of humour, maybe because you prefer the kind of humour that comes from the Big Bang Theory, at least his animation is different. So many animations these days seem to focus more on being grounded in reality that they even make their animation look like just a cartoon drawing of something real. Which is why Cusack's animations feel like such a breath of fresh air, because at least his animation is doing something that can never be done in a live action format. You must answer the following question. What day is Madison's birthday? Um, today. That's correct. Nice. Good, good job. Yeah, go ahead, please. Yeah, go, go for it. Yeah. Thanks. This isn't to say his work doesn't feel grounded, because his humour does lend itself to aspects of reality, from Australian way of life. Oi, Damo, you can't Give us your lighter. Fuck off, man, I don't have one. Oi, what's your problem, mate? You bit fucked in the head or something? No, I just You're don't. You're fucked, mate. No, you're fucked. I just don't want to give you my lighter. Drug culture? Hey dude, what's going on, man? Hey man, not much, man. What's going on with you? Yeah, not much, man. I'm just like super duper high. The game industry? We're here to reveal our new hot game that all you kids are gonna love. That's right, it's Kinect Sports 3! Yeah, I knew you guys would love it. Looks like Gabe Newell is about to come to the stage. <laughs> Periods of time. What's up, dude? I just saw Steven Spielberg's classic Jurassic Park. <laughs> That's nothing, bro. I'm reading Goosebumps. Eat my shorts. VHS tape. Old school. Remember the Windows 95 startup? It was all like... <laughs> bling, bling. Nah, dude, it was more like... Ethan? Ethan, please, please wake up. And of course, TV show parodies. Morty! Morty! Oh, oh, Rick. Get in the car, Morty! Get in the car! Oh, Rick, I was asleep. I was having a little Morty sleep. Morty, get in the damn car now! Get in here! Oh, why? Get in the fucking car, Morty! Even when his work might have aspects grounded in reality, his animation style is almost always not. Hey, no biting. Okay? You want me to bite you? <sighs> you know that hurts, Daddy. I told you, silly. No biting, okay? You're my good little baby, huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> It's this perfect marriage between his surrealist type of humour that works so well for an animation format, because what is animation if not a limitless playground for its creators? And why should you be limited to animating only things that you can see in real life when you have the ability to be animating things that you can visualise in your imagination? Want the... Hey, come back here. Come out of there. I want my cheese back, please.
No wonder one of his largest inspirations was of the animations done by David Firth, another absurdist surreal type of animator, because when you're watching a Michael Cusack animation, you almost feel like you're watching surreal type of madness being animated. Well, what's wrong? Well, life's not going that great for me. My wife left me, my kids left me, my dog died from a broken heart last fall. So I don't know, yeah, probably just gonna end it all or something. But Cusack's mind, animation, and style of comedy has evolved and continues to do so in ways that genuinely make me excited to see what he'll do next, because even if none of it doesn't make any logical sense, at the very least, it'll be different. What have you done to me? Weird creatures. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. I'm a fraud. Ali Monster loves his nuggies. Hmm. I can only assume they represent various parts of Michael's psyche. I don't know. There doesn't seem to be a concrete thing here. Hey, you. Are you an animated personification of Michael's thoughts? I'm an unfinished idea. My life is constant pain. <laughs> you have no idea. Please. Kill me! Kill me! Look, mate, I'll happily kill you if you tell us where to find Michael. I'll tell you later. In a minute. Tomorrow. It can wait. No rush. What's your deal? I'm the procrastinator. I'll do it later. In a minute. Tomorrow. It can wait. So, Michael, do you have a backup plan in case this animation thing falls through? You gotta have options, alright? You need a backup plan. You gotta have options. <laughs> 